welcome to the video guys. It seems the SMP are being very busy at the moment. I could literally make three or four videos a day on these bunch of losers and the nonsense that they come out with. This time it seems Nicola Sturgeon's finance chief has been taking economic lessons from Diane Abbott because she got her figures completely wrong before an economist absolutely destroyed her afterwards as is reported here in this Express article. Now before we get into that the daily live streams have moved over to Twitch. The link is down in the video description if you want to come and have a chat with me in real time. But now let's get back to Jacob Rees-Mogg taking down the SMP and their Diane Abbott level of mathematics. The Express article headlines, Reese Mogg slaps down SMP demands after Sturgeon's finance chief makes economic blunder. Jacob Reese Mogg schooled the SMP on Thursday following one of the party's MPs begging the UK government for more funding from Rishi Sunak's mini budget in the House of Commons. Which I'm sure is a surprise to absolutely no one. We know what the SMP are like. Much like Sadiq Khan, their hand is always out, screaming, please sir, I want some more. Jacob Rees-Mogg slapped down SNP demands for more funding after one of the party's MPs branded the UK government incompetent. That's a bit rich, coming from the SNP, who should rename their party the Scots Nat Prats, not the Scottish National Party. The Scots Nat Prats' Richard Thompson said that the Scottish government was disappointed with Rishi Sunak's budget plans. Mr Rees-Mogg hit back, saying that Westminster was handing over at least £4.6 billion to Scotland and reminded Mr Thompson that this economic strength is only possible because of the Union, which I have to say is a great slap down by Jacob Rees-Mogg there. We all know that is the truth since Scotland runs at a deficit and the SNP would take them clear into the shitter if they actually had independence along with of course dragging them into the EU to become the vassal state of Brussels. There would be no £4.6 billion bailout, let's be honest they don't even have their own central bank or currency so an independent Scotland would be up shit creek in this current situation. Mr Thompson said, I wonder will the leader share the disappointment? 24 hours on from yesterday's summer economic update that the Scottish Government has yet to have an update on the Barnet consequentials of that announcement. It is not uncommon to have the Scottish Government wait several days in fact for that to feed through. That makes the UK government look rather discourteous and incompetent which is what the Scots Nat Pratt party looked like almost every day. Will the leader arrange for the relevant minister to explain to the house why these problems seem to be a built-in feature of the system and not just a glitch? The Scottish government has yet to have the full extent of the Barnett consequentials of that announcement confirmed. It's not a, an uncommon uh, situation for the Scottish government to have to wait several days, in fact, for that detail to feed through, which makes the UK government look uh, rather incompetent and discourteous. Now, as somebody who clearly takes great care to be neither of those things, I wonder if the leader would be good enough to arrange for the relevant minister to come to the House to make a statement on behalf of the Treasury to explain why these problems appear to be a built-in feature of the Treasury approach to such matter rather than just an occasional glitch in the system. Yeah. Um, um, Mr Speaker, I'm, I'm glad to say that the Barnet consequentials so far are £4.6 billion, so there is a substantial amount of money, thanks to the strength of the United Kingdom, uh, that is going to the Scottish Government. Um, uh, the Barnet consequentials relate to a well-established formula. Um, uh, uh, the um, former um, uh, uh, Chief Secretary of the Treasury, Joel Barnet, a very distinguished uh, Labour figure who established the formula, I think, in the um, Prime Ministership of Harold Wilson, either Harold Wilson or Jim Callaghan. Uh, and it has been a way in which money has been distributed ever since. And that money flows, and I think that is the important thing. This comes after the SNP's Finance Secretary, Kate Forbes, was humiliated yesterday after the Institute for Fiscal Studies corrected her on her economic calculations, which I'm sure you would agree is the definition of incompetence that the SNP are claiming the UK government has. I think you'll find it is the other way around. Clearly getting her calculations from the Diane Abbott School of Mathematics, if you ask me. On Thursday, Miss Forbes said Scotland had been shortchanged by Chancellor Rishi Sunak after he announced the Scottish Government would receive an additional £800 million in funding for the SNP to distribute as they choose. Ms Forbes claimed the Scots Nat Pratt Government had only received £21 million, less than 0.1%. She complained the figures for Scotland from the summer update were disappointing, underwhelming and fall short of the scale required to reboot the economy because obviously we know the SNP want an open checkbook, that's why their hand is always open. However, a leading economist rebuked this claim as not true and said the finance secretary's figures simply did not add up. David Phillips, associate director of the Institute for Fiscal Studies, told the Scottish Herald, firstly, it's not clear to me where she got that number from because 
Looking at the announcements made, a number of them are England only, which would lead to Barnet consequentials. The 21 million must be from a very narrow definition of things that were announced yesterday that hadn't been announced or trialled before the speech, as I can't see where that figure has come from. She has clearly pulled it out of her ass, which is common practice when you've been to the Diane Abbott School of Mathematics, I think you would all agree. During the announcement on Wednesday, Rishi Sunak told the Commons millions of people will be getting government money, we already know this. During his announcement on Wednesday, Mr Sunak told the Commons millions of people in Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland have been protected by the UK government's economic interventions and they will be supported by today's plan for jobs. While that might be true, there is also a shitload of people that haven't. No nationalist can ignore the undeniable truth. This help has only been possible because we are a united kingdom that I would actually have to agree with. Certainly in the case of Scotland, as we already know, they would be in the shit if they was an independent country, even without the current situation. But as always, I want to say a massive thank you to everyone who supports the channel, and my other social media links are down in the video description. If you want to come and support me on Twitter, BitChute, and a variety of other platforms, including my second YouTube channel. As I said, all links are down in the video description. There is a pattern consistent throughout history of oppressed people turning on the oppressors, slaves against their owners, the peasantry against the feudal barons, colonies Mr Verhofstadt against their empires, <laughs> and that is why Britain is leaving. And it doesn't matter which language you use, we are going and we are glad to be going. We're off. <laughs>